Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, <laughs> um, I have been getting ready to record this for about five minutes. And Karma wants to be in here. However, Mustache is, <laughs> she's standing at my craft room door and won't let Karma in. <laughs> and so you may, you might hear Karma like whining. <laughs> Cause she wants to come over and mustache won't let her in the craft room so that's what that is all right um yeah anywho y'all are here for the part two of the tonic stash that i was i'm trying to get put away and i'm so excited i got a package today that we will discuss at the end and i'm going to give you a sneak peek Y'all know what gets me super, super excited. Some of y'all know me. If you know me well, you know what I'm excited about lately. Anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. <clears throat> and any questions or comments, please leave them down below. All of a sudden, <clears throat> my throat <clears throat> got hoarse. So the first thing I'm going to share, I, I it's the only dye I actually ordered, and but I think there's some mystery things in there um, that I'll be sharing in a minute. And I believe right now, actually, you know what, let me go take a peek, because I can't remember if my video posted today. Post, okay. So you guys are going to see this on Wednesday, all right? So right now it looks like they're doing like their midweek deals and what i'm about to show you i believe is on there and i think it's marked down and i think it is wonderful and it is this set it is called the happy hamper gift box die set when i first saw this i immediately thought of fishing baskets you know the kind that you put the fish in or you put them in the water stuff like that that's what popped in my head but um they don't have to be Again, I mentioned in the previous video, my kids' high school colors were um, blue, gold, and white. And this is kind of like a lighter blue than their team colors, but whatever. Anywho, there are 25 dyes in this set. And there's something in here I'm excited and I can't wait to share with you. It's so mi minute, but I think it's fantastic. Um, now... Yes, this is going to require a wide format machine. So you're going to be looking at your, your Spellbinders Platinum, not the Platinum 6, which is the one that most people get. Uh, you, the standard uh, Big Shot isn't going to do it. You're going to need the bigger ones. You can use the Gemini, but not the Junior, or I think the little teeny tiny ones called the Go. I think the Vagamond is a wide format. Please don't quote me. I don't know because I've never owned one. Um, I do own a Fisker's Fuse. They no longer make it. That thing is a beast and it weighs like a beast. Um, and I was going to get rid of it, but sometimes you just need that, that extra muscle and that sucker's got muscles. So I kind of held on to it. Anywho, the largest die is 10 inches by 6.7 inches so no matter which way you try to turn this piece right here it's not going through your machine period it's just not going to um you really only have one sentiment it says a little something just to say and um here they did it and they kind of offset it which i think is super cute and then here they just made it um so it really popped off a background which is fantastic three ways to three yeah I'd say three ways to decorate this you've got where you're just using the background um decorative die if you just want to go with like a pattern paper look with this one this one they're using the intricate uh die right here the decorative die it would have been nice if there was a like an add-on for you know ex other decorations but you know, it is what it is. Then they did it over here and they did the same thing, but they cut all the way through and they lined it with acetate, which is what I had in mind. 
I thought the the acetate you have a better look at it here you can kind of see through there so you can see the goodies inside you know what I think would be fun with this one is fill it with Swedish fish get it Swedish fish in a fish basket <laughs> okay I know that was cheesy let me show you what I'm excited about um, some of y'all I know already do these um, making paper beads it can be a pain in the patookas I'm I've tried it it is a pain in the patookas this die right here that's what this die is and it makes these guys and when you roll them up you got to roll them up good with good glue and then here it looks like they probably covered it in like a um, liquid glass I can't remember off the top of my head um, tonic has their own version but it's like a glossy accents or a liquid glass it depends on the brand you're looking at and I can't think of who the brands are for those particular ones but um, I ordered this as soon as it came out and now I th I think it is currently on the weekly bundle or midweek bundle I'm gonna post this on Wednesday so that you guys can hop over there it is already live so hopefully it doesn't sell out. I apologize for not putting this on Saturday, but I'm trying to kind of stick to like an every other day posting. So anyway, there's that guy. And I am just so, ex seriously, I'm so excited about this die right here. Because, I mean, the, the, it's, the possibilities are endless with these little beads. I mean, if you're just bored wanting to watch TV, but you're wanting to be crafty, or you're working and you got something down the road, you can just sit there and roll just a ton of these. So, anywho, so there's that. Then, this might not be exciting to you guys, but it is for me. Um, and I've already mentioned it because I've ordered these bundles um, a couple of weeks, weeks ago. You've seen it in a in a few of my recent tonic ones but they're doing the black dimensional foam and um, we find the white foam dots and squares and everything all over the place and the black ones are becoming um, more available I guess is the word I want to say but usually when they come out with a company they sell out like um, I love Stampin' Up um, I've got a lot of Stampin' Up and actually Tonic Stampin' Up and Tonic are the only black foam squares I have and I really wish they had come out with these years ago um, I guess unless you bought your own black foam and cut it and put you know double-sided adhesive then you would have had it but it is what it is and each of these bundles um, includes two of the three sizes they sell so you've got two of the 25 by 25 millimeters so these great big old beasts then you've got two of the 12 by 12s and you've got two of the five by fives now just a little heads up it is only one sheet in each um, where I'm not sure if it's the same amount but I know with uh, Stampin' Up it usually comes with two sheets um, in every pack um, but I've never pulled one out to see compare them so maybe I'll have to do that another time I'm gonna stick these in the same baggie just so I can throw some trash away so there are those The last thing I got was their quote unquote, I think it was a mystery. No, nope, that's not it. I need that. Um, the, the, the mystery ones or the goody ones with the craft bags. Um, so, and, and I don't know where my, my, um, you know where the, the packing list is so I can't tell you I can't remember but there's a lot of these right now on their website so if you want to go look they have a whole bunch of different ones on their website right now um, crafting is cheaper than therapy 
that depends. <laughs> and a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but I so I'm so happy they're coming out with these bags. Speaking of bags, um, MFT just launched. So today I'm recording on the 12th. Today MFT just launched their their um, monthly release, and they have a tote that is a freebie. If you spent with with MFT, if you spend sixty dollars, you get a freebie. So I already have the two dies that they offer, and you always get to pick between three items. So I got their little craft baggy tote, kind of like something like this. It probably would have been a better deal if I'd gotten either of the dies, but I already had them, so I didn't. Anywho, so a little heads up. There's an MFT order that'll probably um, get to me this coming Saturday, which means I will post it sometime after Saturday. There you go. All right, so this bundle here, I believe it was a goodie bundle, came with a crackle mousse, and this is rose hip, and... I think I have this. I think I have all of the Crackle Moose. Their newest one is the the Chalk Moose. And I'm not sure that I've seen any new colors released in that. If they have, I've gotten them. Um, we have another Crackle Moose here. In the color Misty Mauve. And it looks like it's cracking. No, it's still, it's still good. It's kind of worried there for a minute because you see it cracking, but it is still soft like it's supposed to be. So we're, we're good there. We have another crackle mousse in the color pink gin. Ah, that is so pretty. Look at that. Sorry for a little shake. My medicine alarm just went off, but I took it just before I started recording. Alrighty then. We have um, a new large blending brush. These are pretty fantastic. Um, there you go. And I just kind of break this down and this goes in the trash. Um, we have the Blue Blossom Nouveau Hybrid pad ink pads in Raspberry Smoothie, Siren Blue, and Midnight Surf. And I know that I have these, so I am I am getting ready to send a box to my sister. So I know I'm dropping those in there for her. <gasps> the bomb. Uh, we I was just talking about adhesive in my last video, right? Um, the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive is pretty fantastic. Um, I don't think you can ever have enough of it. Although, as I mentioned, I think if the zombie apocalypse happened tomorrow, and hypothetically if we had enough food to last a lifetime, I had enough crafts for a lifetime. Yeah. You know, hey, we know that already. We have, and yeah, I've... Yeah, I, oh, I don't know. I love lemon. We have a dream drop in the color um, Lemon Twist. If I have two of these, I'm going to send this to my sister. These are really pretty. They, uh, um, they're, you know, to make your own enamel dots. Uh, but they have a um, <coughs> color shift in them. They're not exactly translucent, but they do have a shift in their color, so really pretty. Uh, I'm not going to open this because I'm going to send this to my sister as well. This is the Nouveau Vintage Drops, and this is in the color Chalk White, or Chalk Stick. And the, the Vintage Drops, they act like just all the other ones, except when they dry, they have a matte color. A matte finish. There's not shiny, um, I would say a matte to satin finish on it. Um, and they are very opaque, so you're not going to see through them. Um, but if you're going for like a matte, you want some dimension on a project, but you don't want shine, these are really awesome. So, the last two items, I think I'm sending these to my sister as well. So I'm not going to open them, but these are Glimmer Pastes. 
and this one is the color Galactica Blue. And they're just super thick paste. Uh, think of... We all know that my memory has been pretty horrible lately. Stickles. Think of stickles on steroids. That's what I call these. So stickles on steroids. And um, so this is, like I said, Galactica Blue. And where's it hiding? Can't read it. Glitter oh, Glitterati Gold. And I'm pretty certain I don't have either one of these. I was kind of concerned because, um, you know, we've been... It's good. They're good. Okay. Y'all know. We have been in the hundreds for a few weeks now. Um, and, uh, you know, this stuff gets delivered. Yes, it's delivered in our door and it is covered. But still, the, the heat is the heat regardless. Um, when I pulled in today in my driveway, which is covered by a giant oak tree, in the shade, it was still 100, and I think it said 104 degrees. Yesterday was 108. So, yeah. But that's it. That is it for tonic. However, I said we're doing a sneak peek. My latest installment, or additions to House Mouse, have arrived. They were actually due, they guesstimated delivery for tomorrow, Wednesday the 13th. They got here today. I've already opened and looked at it. I, I, well, House Mouse, what can I say? Stamparosa. <laughs> On top of that. Um, and again, Miss Maria included another one of her amazing cards that is the sneak peek and it has been years since i have made a waterfall card oh my goodness and she did something i never would have thought of doing so um so this video is going to post tomorrow which is wednesday which means the next video is going to be house mouse and it'll be friday yes but I'm going to record it after this. Oh, it's so wonderful. Anywho. Ha ha. Like a little baby Monica. She, she's yawning, but it looks like she might be going, ooh, ah. All right, ready? And we're going to see if somebody sees what I'm talking about that I have never thought of doing. So I would say this is Maxwell, but his tail's not curled. So I'm not sure, but we're going to pull it. Ready? He's actually bouncing. It's amazing. That right there. <clears throat> uh, first off, another fantastic card from Miss Maria. Uh, she is pretty awesome. I think she should do a couple design teams. Um, I've tried to talk her into a YouTube channel, but she doesn't want to do it. So I guess I will share with you guys so you can see, but <clears throat> so he is, she colored him and then she cut him out. So then she put him on the, the pulley and then the same with the trampoline. The problem is, is they're going to, they would get caught on anything up underneath. So she covered it in acetate. I would have never thought about that. And I love acetate. Um, so Miss Maria, thank you. And, and thank you. This is cute. This is uh, so <laughs> after they come on here, they go to work. Everybody is at work is loving your house mouse, Miss Maria. Anyway, so and then just a cute little note on the inside. Again, I love Miss Maria. Thank you, thank you so much. So next video will be House Mouse. Yes. Um, so we'll leave that there. 
Once you're done with this, I do suggest you go to the Tonic website. I'm not affiliated with them, so no commission. Some people, you know, I'm just being transparent. Some people want to know. That's why. And why I say it in every video. Um, but uh, I like to send you guys to where I think you're getting great deals. And they do have some really wonderful things up right now. Um, I've only... I'm trying to think if I even picked anything up. I didn't get anything in this sale. Um, I used to buy something every single time they did a sale, and I don't anymore. Um, so, there it is. But, if you're building your stash, Tonic has the best sales on the market to build your stash up at a good price. So, I would say go check those out. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll put that link down below if you want to go... Um, I'll put a link to their main page because their sales change and I don't want to put a link up that, you know, in a week is going to take you nowhere. So, uh, with that, love y'all to pieces. Like I said, be on the lookout. The next video is on Friday with a house mouse. And, um, I don't know if you saw, and I have already mentioned today or this month, July is my birthday month. And... I've put it on my Facebook page for all my friends and family, and I did post, I basically shared a link from um, the South Texas Persian Rescue. I have fostered with them for years and years and years. Um, my amazing pancake, who y'all know passed away um, earlier this year, um, he was my foster fail. And he was a perfect addition to our family. And it w if it wasn't for STPR, he would have never been in my life. And um, they been uh, literally their life. They live their lives for all these fur babies. Um, they almost always come in in horrible medical conditions. So imagine high vet bills. And so on my community page, I have shared a link to their most recent post showing some of the um, fur babies that went to the vet today. They have another round of animals going tomorrow. And just between today and tomorrow, they're looking at about 20, I think between 27 and three, $2,700 and $3,000 in vet bills in two days. And, um, well, here's baby Karma. Come here, baby. Yeah. Mustache let her in. Um, so I am a huge proponent for rescues. Um, STPR is near and very dear to my heart. So if you, you know, it's my birthday month. If you want to do anything, please consider donating to them. They can use all the help they can get. Um, they are, it is summertime and it doesn't matter what rescue or shelter you go to. They're swamped. They're all swamped. Because all of the spring babies that were born, and so, you know, um, they're, adopt, go to a rescue, go to a shelter, um, the kittens are, ador you know, adorable, sweet, cute, and everything, but the older babies are just as amazing, and they deserve just as much love, you know, for the rest of their lives as the cute little baby furballs do, um, you know, Pancake came to us when he was three. I was able to um, be graced with him in my life for f seven years. Yeah, I guess seven years. And um, is that right? Yes, we got him the Christmas before my daughter graduated. So f five years. Oh, yeah, I am losing my memory. Um, so I, I would be grateful and so would Beth and Lori who run the rescue. If you choose to donate, I will also put a link to their, they are a, um, what is it? A four, not four one. They are a registered, um, nonprofit. So I can't remember what that's called, but they are registered, uh, nonprofit and every single penny they get if they make improvements to the house the house it is in mind for what is better for the animals um, and yeah I do want to say if you do follow them on their Facebook page they're they they don't hide so if you're squeamish they will show pictures of of really bad wounds that some of these poor babies come in with 
um, but you're actually you then you can follow the progress of their of their um, recovery. But if if you're squeamish, which I am, but I and you know when I see him, I only it's like a quick glance and then I quit because I I can't handle icky. Um, but then it just really um, stiffens my resolve in trying to, you know, do what I can to help the rescue and help all these beautiful babies. Miss Karma didn't come through a rescue, but some of y'all know he rescued her when she was like this size in the middle of an intersection during rush hour. Some of y'all know her story. Um, she's my last for a baby. If you're new to my channel and you were like, well, who's a mustache? Mustache is actually my son's fur child. Um, but he can't, she can't be with him right now. And because she's such a mean, she's mean. I've never found an animal I couldn't win over. She, I have won mustache over as much, as much as she can be won over, but she is a hateful, mean, nasty. She's actually, and she is vindictive. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And she is like putty in my son's arms. So, first off, we would never consider, sent, you know, sending her to a shelter because my son can't have her right now. Um, so, she stays with us um, because nobody else would put up with her. <laughs> um, but um, I do hope to be fostering again very soon. Um, it'll probably wait until after uh, the September cruise. Because uh, we just have company coming and coming, and I we we dedicate one room um, to the fosters when they first come. If you're if you are interested and want to know more about that, feel free to email me or message me, and I am happy to discuss it with you. But um, long long rant, but basically, if you wanna, if you know, it's my birthday. Hey, Shorty, it's your birthday. Um, consider the ST, consider donating to the South Texas Persian Rescue. Um, I stand behind them 150%. Um, they do amazing work. So with that, we're coming up on 30 minutes. I love y'all to pieces. Keep an eye out for House Mouse Stamparosa um, installment from Miss Maria. Woohoo! Um, love y'all. Bye-bye. Happy crafting.